Pantera, a magical world of wonders, and also a world of constant conflicts. Even to this day, many heroes and villains rise to stir up more fascinating events here. And beyond the seas, there is an island filled with pirates and contrabands called Bilgewater. The one ruling over this lawless port city was Captain Sarah Fortune. Before her time, when Bilgewater was ruled by the saltwater scourge Gangplank, the scourge killed Sarah's mother and shot young Sarah too, leaving her to die. She survived and swore for revenge. After years of pursuit, she was able to put an end to this tyrant's reign. Then, she named herself as a new ruler and took a warmer approach in ruling this pirate town than Gangplank. But as all pirates go, shots were fired without hesitation if necessary. The rest of you, welcome to my crew. Prove yourselves loyal and you'll be rewarded. However, being the ruler of Bilgewater didn't necessarily mean only dealing with the living. There was this disastrous mist from the Shadow Wells called the Harrowing. The calamity happened every few years, with wretched spirits being released from the Isles with Black Mist to harvest the ripe souls of the living. So, for the living during the Harrowing, it was a time to halt all conflicts and team up to survive the deadly wave. Hold on just a little longer. We have to push these things back! Lawi, whatever you're doing, do it faster! Anything less generic to say? You are brave! I will enjoy reaping your soul! I'll take that as a no. You will reap no more souls today, not while I still move. Darkness, be gone! Countless innocent lives were lost in the last harrowing a few years ago. Back to present. As ruler of Bilgewater, Fortune was just about to call it a day. Raffin? The walkers of Black Mist returned. Fortune secured her manor with haste, while thinking some assistance help. would be needed. You're going to need a Lawi. The Buru people, worshippers of the Great Mother Serpent, Nagaka Boros, the Great Kraken. Among the Buru people was the Truth Bearer, giving the test of Nagaka Boros to prove one's worthiness and potential. We know her as Ilawi. All is Nagaka Boros. And today, she was tasked to drive out this killer called the Blood Harbor Ripper and restore the motion. The stagnation he brings. Ilawi searched for his whereabouts. Hmm. I thought you would be strong. And soon enough, Please met not. the Ripper herself. So afraid, so alone. But soon, Captain, you'll be crossed off my list. What list? Uh, uh, I've never seen you before in my life. Uh, uh, I'm not even a captain anymore. I haven't sailed in years! Please! Abomination! Face the Kraken Priestess if you dare! Mm. Killing you would be fun. But meaningless. No. Forsaken One, do you think I am offering you a choice? Pike used to be a renowned harpooner in the docks. But during a hunt, he was betrayed 
to be eaten alive by a sea monster. Yet, he returned from the deep as an undead, seeking gruesome revenge on the captains of Bilgewater. You look familiar. So, the truth bearer challenged the Ripper. Ocean is all. Like his namesake, Ripper, Pike ripped down one of Eloy's followers in an instant. You enter the Mother Satan's embrace. But the one bequeathed with divine tentacles, an experienced brawler, Elawi, emerged victorious die. over the fight with Pike. Life is the sweetness of fruit and the joy of battle. And tested the killer of his worthiness. I... What did you do to me? This cannot be. You are found worthy, but you are a monster. To allow his surprise, the Great Serpent deemed Pike worthy. With questions in her mind, Laoi returned to the Buru Temple to find an unexpected guest waiting there. That is quite a man. This is Elawi. She's our champion. Our truth bearer. It is an honor to meet you. I am Brom of the Freljord. The Freljord? We've traveled far. My men say they pulled you from the water. They showed me great kindness. Walk with me. I am curious to hear more of your story. A great sickness has come to the Freljord. It has claimed the lives of many children. It's really you? Yes. And look, I have brought a friend. Now, be brave. I'll take good care of him until I return. Huh? I will. Rest now. Brom will find a cure for this. You have my word. Brom, you promised the impossible. Your heart is pure. The sickness is spreading. For Brom, nothing is impossible. The Freljord is my home. These people are my family. Tell me, what must I do? When I was a boy, my father spoke of a place called the Blessed Isles. There, they possessed water, which was said to cure any illness. But Brom, that place was destroyed by the Black Mist. Shadow Isles, they call it now. Dangerous, even for you. Rob will return with this blessed water. Then, think of the story they will tell, huh? <laughs> Ilawi was amazed by the fact that Brom fought the mist by himself. Just then, a messenger from Fortune seeking help arrived. Brom thought that fighting the mist would also help him find a cure. So he joined her, and Fortune asked the two. Ilawi, it's been a while. I was starting to think you were avoiding me. To investigate Grey Harbor, where the last harrowing started. If you or your handsome friend learn anything, you know how to find me. Handsome? Oh, what a spirited young woman. <laughs> and thus, Brahm and Alawi arrived in Grey Harbor to start looking. Open your gate, or I will tear it down. As the sealed gate was opened, the Mistwalkers ran in as if they'd been waiting. And the two tough champions kept the walker at bay. Even bolder tracks. Just then. Be gone, Shadow. Help 
from the most unexpected. Such speed! Why did an Ionian like him come so far all the way to Bilgewater? This lone, mysterious swordsman's visit started with an invitation from a hooded figure named Ari. Once a proud young man, as he abandoned his post in guarding his school, he was falsely accused of murdering his master and this misunderstanding. Our master bears wounds. Only your place put him down. Brother, please let me through. Also resulted in killing his brother, Yone, in self-defense. Yasuo, the Unforgiven. Ari approached Yasuo to ask him to be her bodyguard in Bilgewater. The swordsman wished to get out of Ionia as soon as possible. And thus, the two landed in this lawless city. Well, I can see why you hired a bodyguard. One of the tribes of Vestaya, a hybrid race, the Vesani, and their only survivor, Ari, found out that her ancestor's relic has been moved to Grey Harbor. Said he was going to Grey Harbor. And the two decided to rest before their next step. Of course, of course. Uh, you enjoy yourselves now. A hundred years feels longer when you're alone. You are more beautiful than any flower. Please, leave me. My magic. I cannot control it. I don't care. I am yours. <laughs> No. What am I? A monster. A monster of uncontrollable thirst for life essences. That was the way Ari thought of herself. Because Ari was unwilling to put Yasuo at risk, have to feed soon. she left alone to Grey Harbor. I was going to leave him eventually. As soon as Yasuo found this out, with the fear of failing yet another one of his duties, he had run like a wind to Grey Harbor. Yasuo agreed together. to join forces. Uh, in that case, I'll help you. For now to fight off the mist Never get so. and investigate the harbor. They soon arrived in the Buru Temple in the harbor and took down the false goddess corrupting the temple. And brought honor to Laowei's ancestors. So the Buru ancestors revealed the identity of one who did this. And the culprit was Gangplank. In Fortune's Revenge years ago, Gangplank took the loss and fell. With both his ship and body wrecked, he approached Ilawi, demanding to be subjected in the test of spirit. And surprisingly, he had passed the trial. With no choice, Ilawi had to support him back in motion. With his health back, he headed to Shadow Isles to find a way to reclaim Bilgewater. Then after some time, Gangplank did make his return. But for an unknown reason, he just stole Buru relics and returned to the Isles. Misfortune, shocked by the fact that Gangplank is alive. That's impossible. You know it is. I killed him and sank his ship. She swore to put an end to the scourge once and for all and joined them and prepared to sail to Shadow Isles. As promised, one magnificent ship. That is a mighty vessel. Does it have a name? I haven't gotten around to naming her yet. She was recently acquired. Care to do the honors? The uh, charming lady? Brom, you lady killer. Excuse me? The charming lady. I like it. Thus, the four sailed to the Isles. During the voyage, a haunting melody. 
they had some time to get to know each other more. Yes. But that peaceful moment didn't last so long. Giant sea monster, deep lurkers attack. The party calmly fought back. And despite the monster's might, with misfortune's experienced tactics, let's see you handle this. they slowly turned the tide in their favor. Keep fighting! This mission will not end here. Not against this thing. Pike's sudden entrance. The priestess from the docks. Fortune was startled with Ripper's emerge. Onto my ship? But as she found out that Pike also aims for Gangplank's throat, she figured that, that another crewmate may come in handy. So long as it doesn't gut me in my sleep. Your terms are acceptable for now. This has been a very exciting voyage. Meanwhile, on the shores near Shadow Isles, Part of our plan. Gangplank, you knew my nature when we made our alliance. These souls strengthen my magic. And besides, this island is loyal to your enemy, misfortune. These fools abandoned you at your darkest hour. Now, they feel your triumphant return. The crown is buried in Bilgewater, like you asked. Excellent. Even now it draws the black mist. Soon, it will expand my reach to the city itself. What of the Buru artifacts? I have them all here. Then let us return to my domain. The ritual can finally begin. All of this for Bilgewater. When this demon's done, I hope there's still a city left for me to rule. And finally, the five made it to Shadow Isles, engulfed in black mist. As the Isles was the very source of the mist, even stronger enemies blocked the party's path. But as the party was also reinforced, with the Ripper and his deadly poisonous blade, party could slay down anyone who stood in their way. With some sweet, sweet CS, they entered the deep forest. Corruptors! What? Where? Show them to Brom! You, defilers of the grove! Ah, majestic tree creature! There is a mistake. We... You go no further. Tarnish these lands no longer. The guardian of the forest, the twisted tree ant, Maokai. Living as long as the Isles itself, and even today, Maokai fought to defend the groves from ruin. The tree ant took the party as defilers. He tossed exploding saplings and showed them nature's fury. With no choice, 
the party had to fight back also. And as the battle was reaching its climax, Naokai, stop! Ari stepped in to intervene. She seized the fight between them. Ari. And explained that she came here for Vasani artifacts, while also mentioning that Gangplank is currently hiding in Thresh's fortress. Thresh has a fortress here. Gangplank must be inside it. But to eliminate the lurking shadows blocking their way, the party had to cleanse Maokai's corrupted roots first. Since Ari had her own objectives in this Cursed Isles, she until agreed to join the party until her objectives are met. When that time comes, we walk new roads, alone. Because staying for too long may turn out dangerous to others. As the party reached Naokai's roots, I do not think that will be necessary. The corrupted shadow residing in the roots emerged. But with mystical powers to heal allies, this as well as igniting her enemies, this nine tailed fox was a new threat to the mist. Their light is mine. Like so, the party purified Maokai's roots. Maokai rejoiced with joy and restored the grove with life. For the first time in forever, life bloomed on the Isles. And for the one who fought for the Grove, despite getting nothing in return, for this great hero of Heart of Gold, that is what it means to be a hero. Maokai gifted Brom leaves with blessed water flowing within. Brom does not know what to say. <laughs> Brom is the only one crying. We're all crying on the inside. <laughs> Go now. Find victory. And know that you will always be welcome visitors in Maokai's Grove. Meanwhile, in Thresh's dungeon, with the Buru artifacts Gangplank brought, Thresh attempted to awaken the soul sleeping within this monarch blade. Hear me through the veil, king of ruin. Diego, the ruined king, once a king of a kingdom now forgotten, his dearly beloved queen was easeled from a peasant background. But Diego's kingdom was built with conquest, and plenty opposed the king. Thus, the dagger thrown to kill him ended up taking the queen's life instead. With his lover gone, the king went insane and sought means to bring her back. Soon, he was informed of the Blessed Waters in Blessed Isles. Thus, guided by a shady custodian to bring his queen back, Fiego let Isolde drift in the Blessed Water. But for unknown reason, Isolde rose as a resentful wraith and stabbed Fiego with the King's Blade. This triggered the ruination, and the Isles was covered in dark mist becoming Shadow Wells of today. Fast forward in time, Thresh created an amulet that can absorb the mist, 
he desired to harness Viego's powers, using gangplank and spread ruination across the world. Of course, this crooked warden was well aware that the amulet would destroy gangplank and bring forth the end of the world a few steps closer. The, world the first thing the king sought was, of course, queen. his queen. Where is my queen? So Thresh advised that the king must rest to regain his lost powers, while surely executing plans of his own. With her crown in bilge water, you will lead him there, then across the world, bringing ruination in his wake. Meanwhile, the six protagonists had made it to Thresh's dungeon. With souls locked up in there, the sadistic dungeon echoed with screams from torture. Without any mercy, they slew the wardens and advanced. All the way to Thresh's chamber and face the evil shrouded in unholy mist. You are too late. My plan is already in motion. Time to summon this world's new king. Battle against Thresh, the Chain Warden. Blasting waves of shivering terror Summer. up in their spines and landing death sentences. The Warden was unlike any enemy the party fought so far. But during the long journey, that was fine. the heroes had developed teamwork. And it was not something that a mere servant of the Ruined King could take on. At an end, torturer. My, my scheming. Oh no, my victory is already at hand. Thresh has fallen. That demon couldn't hold up his end of the bargain. But I don't need him or his secret. My will to rule Bilgewater is greater than any musty romance. Wait! Don't release him! Gangplank, you're a dead man. It looks like my audience has arrived! Your new king is here, Fortune! I've had enough of your schemes, Thresh. It's time to take what I'm owed! Yes. I can feel your desire, your fury. Now, release me! Gangplank, stop! Do you seek to trap me in this bauble? I am no weakened shade. I will be contained no longer. You cannot keep my love from me. My passion will burn this world until she is once again at my side! Serve your king, wretch. Fortune versus her lifelong enemy, Gangplank. With help from trusty teammates. Expecting a thank you? Despite the amulet, Gangplank lost the battle of wills. With his notorious parley. Reinforced by the Ruined King, Gangplank took down his foes. Get me a big headstone. But just like how he couldn't overcome Viego's willpower, Gangplank was not able to prevail over the hero's resolve to defend Bilgewater. Emerging victorious, 
Got him. Miss Fortune desired to publicly execute Gangplank. But within the trail that the Ruined King left, Ari found something there. Access the memories Figo discarded. No doubt, the two did love each other dearly, but not all of their moments were filled with roses and butterflies. So Viego, being a hypocritic perfectionist, was ashamed of this and had wiped this part clean before continuing to pursue his obsession. Where is she? My love is near. I can feel her crying out to me. She is waiting for me in Beard Water. The party made it back with a triumph. My Bilgewater. But true hardship waited for them just around the corner. For Isolde Crown was hidden in Bilgewater by none other than Gangplank. Viego sensed this and was coming to the city with the Black Mist. And the only way the Ruined King could be stopped was using the artifact that could absorb the mist the very amulet Gangplank wore. And trap the ruined king. But when Gangplank failed to prevail in the Battle of Wills, the amulet was corrupted also. So Ilawi decided to take the amulet to the Forbidden Buru Forge, hidden in the Shadow Wells, and do whatever it takes. Forbidden. I do not know, nor do I care. Nagakoboros loves change and motion. So we shall challenge this ancient warning, bring some motion to a dusty forgotten place. On a mission like this, I am honored to have you all by my side. Let us prepare ourselves for another journey, then forge a weapon to defeat the ruined king. I am getting tired of shipwrecks. Then, in the island that they drifted down in, against the manifestation of inner guilt, Yone's shadow. This place must prey on fear. The winds are like loose threads of time. Yasu emerged victorious in the battle and redeemed himself by confronting his mistakes. Finish this as you once did. No. Not this time. I accept my mistakes. And the mistakes of others. And you step forward into your destiny. For Fortune, who threw her life away for Bilgewater, Pike recognized her as a good leader. You lead well. And rest with a warm, shared All meal. The yard will know your name. Brought the party closer. Until this is over, I will treat your cause and your enemies as my own. Bringing yes, opportunities for their personal growth. All this time, we've been looking in the wrong place. I'm glad we made the journey together. Then, after a turn of events, they reached the Vasani Vault, where the forge is hidden. Upon sight of collaboration of the Vasani in the Blessed Isles, the party was struck in awe. The Blessed Isles had so much at their disposal. The tragedy of the ruination stole more from the world than we could ever know. Then, by confronting her ancestors' memories... This memory... I sense fear... Pain... 
Ari realized her ability to transfer emotions and essences was a special blessing by her ancestors, scholars of great knowledge. By the time they finished investigating the vault, Ari found a device that could transfer memories within the Visani relic, the Sunstone, and proceeded to take those records within the Sunstone. Ari, what of the ruined king's memories? Would it be possible to put those into the Sunstone? Yes, but it would be at the cost of the Vasani's research, the last remaining memories of them. Yet with the ruined king's secrets in the Sunstone, we'd be able to turn them against him, use his shame, his regret as a weapon. We've all seen the devastation that Lovesick Shade is capable of. If we've got even the slightest chance of hitting him where it hurts, we have to take it. This isn't your choice to make, Fortune. Yasuo, Sarah is right. We can't let this opportunity go to waste. Can you access the Ruined King's memories? Yes. I can feel them spiraling in my mind like some kind of infection. All along, I thought I was cursed. I was ashamed of my true nature. Afraid of what I might be. But now I see. I simply misunderstood. The Vasani. They saw the potential in our abilities. The Ruined King's memories. His pain. I can feel them in my mind. I know his secret. The dark, rotten truth at his core. His fear. His pain. I will make it our weapon. Ari succeeded in containing the king's memories. The power coming from the storm. But the memories and of Ari's Vasani ancestors slowly touched. faded away in front of her eyes. This is what you've been searching for. Don't let them fade away, Ari. Is there anything you can do? I cannot. I have to let these go. Ari! Where am I? Wait! Please don't leave me! I'm... alone. Forever now. I made my choice. You have never been alone, and never will be. Your gesture is a heroic one. My love... I am... So sorry for what I did. Who I am. You are forgiven. As we all should be, if we are true to ourselves and sacrifice for others, as you have done. I thought my ancestors could teach me to live without causing humans pain, but the past is gone now. And you. Memories. They will always be with you, yours to cherish. But they are less important than the future standing before you. Go and fight for the world. Thank you. What was that? Did you find any answers to your questions? All this time, I thought I was broken, incapable of living amongst others, ashamed, but traveling alongside you all, I've managed to keep control, I've learned about who I really am. I thought if I could uncover my past, I could find a way to deal with who I was. Turns out, I already had everything I needed. Now on to the real reason we came here. Yes! The Buru Forge! Finally, the long-lost Buru Forge. In this place where the final test of Nagakaboros awaited. The six of different ideals and skills. United with a singular purpose. We cannot fail. To face the test upon them. Cleanse the black mist from this amulet.
the avatar of Nagakaburo's manifested. This was the toughest test that the goddess could give. But their solid resolve to save this world. was impressive even to the goddess. Just another now, with the amulet cleansed from corruption, the amulet is cleansed. The six heroes were prepared to face the king. Looks like we caught up to our king. So this is what we face. We get one shot at this. If we don't stop the ruined king here, Bilgewater will be destroyed. Together, we will win! Look, my people! The Buru stand against the ruined king! Stand between me and my love. Nothing will hold me back. Your love? <laughs> I'm not losing my city to the delusions of some second-rate king. It's time for the truth to come to light. You are my queen. You need to act like one. No. Uh, what is this? Lies! Twisted visions! I know what is best for us. No, it's the truth. Your love is twisted. You will not corrupt the memory of my queen! No, Ari! The last battle began. Against the king shrouded in mist, the heroes dealt powerful attacks, and Viego swung his giant blade in retaliation, showing them the true power of ruination. Choking the heroes' throats, the mist gave them the pain of death. You are nothing! But, as the great truth bearer was with them, the heroes wouldn't fall, at least not today. Cornered by his enemies, Viego summoned Miss Walkers in the hero's image. The ruined beings could copy the hero's skills to their fullest. But the race... couldn't copy one thing. The hero's resolve. After a winding battle, the defenders of Bilgewater dealt the final blow to the ruined king. He's down. This is our chance. Hit him now, Ari. Your love is a lie. Stop! What do we 
we do? We fight. I can feel your desire, Sarah. Take it. You can rule it all. Everything that you have ever wanted is within your grasp. With warm sunlight shining over them, the heroes return to the city. Fought well, Queen of Bridgewater. We fought well, together. Fortune asked Eloy to keep the sealed amulet safe. Meanwhile, upon hearing the news that Gangplank escaped, she had no Still time around. to enjoy the victory. Truth bearer. Do not lose yourself to revenge, Sarah. Bilgewater needs you. Ha! Quickly! Get to the boat! Like so, the hero's adventures in Bilgewater came to an end. Here's to the next. Grom returned to Freljord with the cure. Ari sailed to the Isles to learn more about her tribe. Yasuo looking for someone. He made his way to Noxus. Pike returned to the deep and carved the name Viego on his list. Viego. For misfortune, ruler of Bilgewater. Tell me, who's in charge of this establishment? You realize that gangplank's insignia on your door? The sworn enemy of Captain Fortune and the city of Bilgewater? Gangplank's got no enemies here. But he does. Take it down. Show the captain you're still loyal, or I promise you won't like what comes next. Looks like they made their choice. Tonight we send a message. No more second chances. No more parlays. I've bled for this city, and it's time for the gangs to accept my rule. I'm done chasing ghosts. Bilgewater belongs to me. And if Gangplank wants it back, he's gonna have to take it. <laughs>